with that big boss that's special It ain't no game, but they saying welcome to the second level What's up, Level 2 Legion? Uh, Keegan here with Level 2 Gaming, and I'm hanging out with Happy Badger Studios, which is from St. Louis. Yay. So uh, I've got Dana yep. and Ben here from Happy Badger. Uh, they are currently working on, you can see behind them, they got Smugglecraft, is the game they're working on for PS4. Uh, can you guys tell us a little bit about uh, Smugglecraft, kind of sure. how it started, the story behind it? Um, so we really love racing games, but we were kind of bored with what was happening in the racing genre, so we wanted to create something that um, you couldn't learn the tracks, that had a more compelling story than just win the trophy. Mm -hmm. So we created Smugglecraft. It's kind of Ben's brainchild. So in Smugglecraft, we sort of took the things we didn't like about racing, took them out, and put better stuff in. Mm -hmm. So in Smugglecraft, every track is procedurally generated. Mm -hmm. So you never play the same track twice, which means the game is more about adapting than it is memorization. Mm -hmm. um, and then we didn't like the story component in, in racing games, so we took that out and we put in a branching narrative uh, where you play as a smuggler, and there's different factions, and depending on who you smuggle for can change the outcome of the game and actually the ending of the game. Uh, there's right now seven different endings. Gotcha. How long How long has it been in development? Uh, about one, a year one, and a half. A year and a half? Yeah. And we've got conservatively, I think, nine months to go. Hopefully. Yeah. Knock on wood. It's yeah. like, nothing's ever finished. No. Same with any, no. like, like, we, we, have to, we have to push it out at the door point, at some point. Yeah, at some know, point. What can we cut so we can launch this and mm -hmm. then we can keep adding to it? Yeah. You know. We can add So later. is this going to be a... P it's, I know it's on PS4. Is it PS4 exclusive? Uh, PS4 exclusive for console and it's also going to be on Steam for yeah. Mac, PC, and Linux. Already greenlit. So that's so. good. That's good to, get, good to know. Yeah. Uh, how hard is it to develop an indie game? A lot of people, gamers, don't really understand kind of what goes into yeah. making a game. Um, there is so much more than you think. Assets, uh, promotion, yeah. all that kind of stuff. But I mean, I don't know. I'm not a game dev. I just talk to you guys. So. Yeah. What goes in, What goes into making an indie game for somebody who doesn't know? It's a very Producer, tell us. It's a very long, <laughs> grueling process. Uh, you'll go through many phases where you hate your game, uh, you think it's where it doesn't work the way you want it to, where you're running out of time, running out of money, and you just have to make it happen. So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's not easy. It's not something. It's not easy money. Uh, we haven't made any money off of games yet, so it's really um, we do it because we're passionate about it and because mm -hmm. we love to make games. What's it like making a console game versus a P? Because that's on both console versus PC. How how hard is it to do it for multi-platform versus picking a single platform to go with? Yeah, optimization has been a, a struggle for us already. Yeah. I think that's going to be the biggest challenge. You'll get something that works on one platform but not another platform, and so it's a constant back and forth. But I will say that Sony has been super supportive of us. They're mm -hmm. very supportive of indie developers and very helpful. So, so can you talk a little bit about? Because I played it at uh, Wizard World a few months yeah. ago, about a month or two ago now. Um, it looked a lot like Pod, the Pod Racer on yeah, N64 is what it yeah, reminded yeah. me of. Yeah. Um, how did you come up with the idea to make it a pod-like racing game versus like cars or something? Hover, hovercrafts are more fun than cars because there's a lot more that you can do with them. You'll see like a lot of our terrain pieces, you can hover over water, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like we love Pod Racer so much, so yeah, that was that's definitely inspiration. an inspiration. It's like it's kind of like Pod Racer, Pod Racer meets Crazy Taxi, meets Wipeout, meets F Zero. Like it's just we took the the things we liked from racing games that that we enjoy, and we were inspired by those things. So. So you said conservatively, or conservatively nine months, or hopefully nine months. Uh, when can we expect the game to be out there? When can we expect to at least get our hands on it? And we don't like to, to give it? any hard dates just because we don't you never know. it to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but we're shooting for um, first or second quarter next year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's our, it's you, our hope. It's okay. Video games always get delayed. Yeah. Everything in 2016 is not 2017. Yeah. So it's expected <laughs> at this point. I was joking at E3. I'm like, okay, I'll see that next year or two right. years yeah. from now. I mean, when we started, we said, yeah, 2016, it's coming out. No, no. 2017 it's, it's coming out. <laughs> it has to. Well, that being said, how much have you learned through this process of, because you've made games before. Yeah, so we made primarily mobile games. I think mm -hmm. we probably made about 10 different mobile games before Smugglecraft. And when we started Smugglecraft, we wanted to work on a game for maybe six months. And now it's been a year and a half, and we've got another, you know, probably a year mm -hmm. in our future. So it's it's very, very different. Is it because it's a bigger, ambitious project, or is it because it's much yeah, bigger? Much project. bigger. Much bigger. Yeah. Uh, we've never done a 3D game before. We've only done 2D games, so jumping, you know, bridging that gap. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, it takes a lot more time. What uh, yeah. what engine are you guys using? Uh, Unity. Unity. Yeah. Has that been has that been easy to use? For the most part, um, you know, there's pros and cons with every mm -hmm. engine, but yeah. uh, so far, you know, we like it. Yeah, it works they for us. they actually just added a really amazing feature called Collaborate, where all of 
our entire studio can like work on the project at the same time. And that, like, yeah, yeah, it's been incredible. I can only imagine not being able to do that. And how you're like, oh my God. stop. Yeah, I mean, that's how it was for the first yeah. year and a half. Yeah, so now having that feature, I feel like we're moving a lot quicker. Yeah. So if our viewers want to find you guys on the social webs, the internets, yes. where would they find you guys at? We are at Happy Badgers on pretty much everything. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And we have uh, Smugglecraft Twitter also if you just want to hear like just Smugglecraft updates, yeah. exclusive news. Mm -hmm. And that's just at Smugglecraft. Yeah. At Smugglecraft, yeah. at yep. Happy Badger Studios. Yep. A little bit of little affection for these guys. They're from St. Louis like we are. Um, so check them out. Appreciate you guys so much for stopping by. Thank yeah. you. Well, stopping by your booth, I guess. <laughs> I stopped by here. Uh, but check them out, hopefully early next year, but follow them on Twitter yeah, to find stay out. Tuned. Stay <laughs> tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, go ahead, and if you want to join the Level 2 Legion, click that little red that red button down there. I think they're over here, over here. I can't tell which way. I don't know if probably I think it matters. Probably below me. I think it's below you. It's probably right I here. can't remember. Right but here. if it's not there, it's here. Uh, but if you want to join, join the Level 2 Legion, we love every single one of you, and it's a lot of fun talking to all of you. So go ahead if you, if you want to, just come join us. It's a party. What else are you going to do?